When you've got a sequence that you want to export and upload to a social media site, for example, YouTube, you've got a choice of how you proceed. You can either export and compress into H.264 using Media Composer's inbuilt compression engine, or you can use a third party utility such as Adobe Media Encoder to do the job. Let's look at the two possibilities. First of all, I can just export using Media Composer's compression engine. If I right click the Composer window and choose Export, up will come a dialog that allow me to choose where I'm going to export to. And also, I can pick from a variety of preset export settings. Now, if I look in the options of export settings, you can see that the, in the export as menu, although there's quite a wide variety of different export methods available, direct export as H.264 is not a possibility in the current version of Media Composer. My best option, I guess, would be to export as a QuickTime movie and then set the compression to export in H.264. So I could say, okay, I'll do custom compression head off into format options and set the video settings to compress into H.264 compression. I can set a data rate, etc. over here. So maybe I'll set this to 10 megabits per second. And down here, I get a choice of multi-pass or single pass compression. Okay, that'll do fine. Similarly, audio needs to be set appropriately and I'll set the settings of the audio uh, to compress into uh, AAC compression at a sensible data rate. So the target bit rate here, well, maybe something more like 256 kilobits per second, surely. Okay. Uh, now I've got that all set, I can click OK once again and set, set other options in here as necessary. So I guess if I want to do this in full HD, I can choose 1920 by 1080. I'll keep in legal color range um, and I should be good to go. On the audio format tab, you can also choose between mono and stereo, uh, mix down of the audio, but I'll leave that in stereo. Now I started from the untitled generic export setting. And if this is a template that I want to use regularly, I could choose save as and give this a name so that I got it for the future. So this is H264. QuickTime, 10 megabits per second. Okay. So that's added itself into the list of export templates that I've got available to me. However, a limitation of this is that it is H.264 in a QuickTime wrapper. And when you're doing it like this, uh, this ties up the Media Composer completely. This cannot be done as a background task. So if you've got a lot of uh, compression work to do, maybe you want to make a variety of different compressions of your sequence for different social media sites, then each one is a separate export and it's going to take you a while. So in that sense, a better option is to export out from Media Composer in high quality, maybe as an MXF OP1A. Load that into a utility such as Adobe Media Encoder and have that make all of your different versions as a background task while you carry on editing. So I've got a, a template ready made to do this as MXF OP1A. And if I show you this, well, yeah, sure, you can see it's going to export in MXF OP1A format. My video compression is set to DNX 185, and my audio is set up to be 24-bit 48K stereo. It's a very simple dialogue. It doesn't require very much of you. So this is all good to go, and I could just, at this point, uh, hit save and export the sequence out. However, I can even improve on this somewhat. Let me cancel out of here and show you what I mean. So from the record monitor, as an alternative to direct export, I've got a menu item called Send To. And in there, I've set up a send to template to send my sequence out to Adobe Media Encoder. Now, what does this do? What does this bring to the party? Well, if I look in there, you can see that, uh, yes, sure enough, I, I've got it set to use my MXF OP1A export setting. I can, in principle, pick any of the export settings to be used. 
but I've also set it to auto launch the Adobe Media Encoder itself and to auto load the exported file. So all I need to do is choose send to, check that the details are correct and click OK. The export will take place pretty quickly because the sequence is already in the compression that I'm attempting to use. Up comes the Adobe Media Encoder and there's the exported file sitting in the queue ready to go. All I need to do is to pick the correct format for export and pick the preset that I want to go with it. If I want to make more than one version, of course, I can select that item and duplicate and set different settings on the duplicate. Then when I'm ready, I can process the queue. While the queue is processing, I can go back to Media Composer and get on and do some other work.